expected value. Okay? So try that, see what you get. I'll give you some time to do it. You can pause now, Eddie. Here we go. Here we go. Let's stop and think about this. This this game here, if you win, how much money do you win? How much do you win? 495. Good. How much do you lose if you lose? You're out $5 and you make that negative. Okay, you guys okay with that? Now, how do you how do you win this game? How do you win this game? This was a test question or a final exam question once. You guys know that? Well, I'm not going to tell you it's going to be. But I have given this. So we have to talk about this. You guys can answer that, that question. If, how do you win? No, how do, how do you win? You have to select what? You got to select three aces. Is that true? So the probability you select three aces. Hmm. Didn't you have a test on this? Say yeah, you were tested on it. Okay. How do you compute the probability? That means the first has to be a what? Ace. And what else? The second has to be a what? Ace. And it means the third has to be a what? Ace. Is that true? Okay, now, they have to be three different aces. So what does that mean? This is without replacement, but I actually, I actually indicated here as well. I don't have to, but if it's different, they have, that's without replacement. Okay, you guys okay with that? So now, what's the probability of the first card's an ace? 4 over 52. Select Reach in the bag. What's the probability of the next card's an ace? Three over? Good. And then two over? Fifty. What's this probability approximated to the nearest thousandths? Oh, yikes. <laughs> Is it? Everybody know? No, you might have done it right. What'd you guys get? 24 over what? 52 times 51. What is it? I got 132,600. Ooh. 24 divided by? 132,600. Yikes. What is that? Zero point. Well, let's keep this for now. Let's keep this value, OK? So this is going to be 24 over 132,600. Who can tell me? If this is a probability that you win, what's the probability that you lose? This is where what comes into play. The probability you lose, isn't that 1 minus the probability you win? Isn't this the complement rule now? See, this is what you even had that on a test, the complement rule. So 1 minus 24 over 132,600. What is that? Isn't that 132,600 uh, minus 24? I get 132,576 over 132,600. 132,576 over 132,600. That is vital. This is how you deduce the probabilities. Is that true? OK, you guys OK with that? OK? So what do you do now? You need the x times the what? P of x column. 
495 times 24 over 132,600. What is that going to be? Okay, I'll do it for you. 495 times 24, I got 11,880 over 132,600. And what is negative 5 times that number? Well, oops, 132,576, I get 662,000. 880, it's negative, divided by 132,600. So what do you do now with those numbers? You add them, is that right? So, 11,808, so yeah, 11,880 minus 662,880. I get here, negative 651,000 divided by 132,600. You guys know what I get? Negative 4.91 approximated to the nearest penny, the nearest tenths position. So here's the deal for this particular game. The expected value, or the long run average, is minus $4.91 for this game. So that every person that plays this game in Las Vegas or anywhere, I know it costs five bucks to play. But you can think of it as, OK, here's my $4.91. Here's my $4.91. Here's a $4.91. And so they're making money. Is that true? It's a negative expected value game. Compare that to the life insurance situation. The life insurance situation works like this. If you die, I'm sorry, not live, how much, you, how much do you get or not get? Uh-oh. You rather do the other one? What if you live? What's, what value is associated with living? What happens if you live? If you live, you guys know how life insurance works? If you live, you're out how much money? $2,000. <laughs> you see how that works? If you live, you're out money. They don't give it back to you. If you do not live, what's the deal here? How much do you, do you not get, or how much does your beneficiary get? $48,000. There's some assumptions here. They assume you live the year, whatever. So $48,000 is what your beneficiary would get for this policy. Is that true? You die, they get money. You live, you lose money. So what's the probability that you live? 